Oh, it's a aren't you gay? Mm. This one has a little sweetness to it. What's up, guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel here and watch what happens next with Montreal or Montreal. I really don't care how you pronounce it. Um, in today's video, we will be diving into the first episode of season two of Scam. Once again, I am highly grateful for you guys for recommending me this show because I have fallen in love and I'm so excited to get into season two because season one was legit incredible. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Oh my God, what is this opening? <laughs> I'm shook already. I don't think I'm ever show any of this. But also, I watched the trailer. You guys told me to watch the trailer for season two before starting the um the season, and I could tell like, of course, it's about Nora. I know it's gonna either about be about Nora or Vilda, but I'm kind of happy to explore Nora. I mean Nora because I feel like that Nora is like, she's like the the queen of the girl squad. She's the queen of the girl squad, um in her own right, right? Because everybody's it's the queen. But um in the trailer, I knew that it would be something tied in there with William. I knew it. And I hate that for my good sis, but let's just see what it looks like. Let's see what it's giving. <laughs> Is that Isa? This gotta be a misstep, right? Because I don't believe that Isa is legit into old oh girl. Wow. First of all, let's talk about how Eva looks totally different. She cut her hair. And I don't know, something just looks different about it. She looks more mature in time out of the past, but she looks really good. I love this look on her. Exactly. I don't think I didn't think that she was his type either. Right, you're not together until you get somebody named Oral. Who who said that? Here goes William. Whew, child, I miss. Baby. I'm Vilda. Yeah, How's that win? I'm dying. Vilda is so funny. Oh, nice. You got a sponsor. No? Why? Why do you want to be sponsored by them? Oh. Vilda, maybe you should have spoke to your girl squad about this before you went off because now if they don't agree with being sponsored by them, then what you got to do? You got to go back and renege your offer of being, of wanting to be uh, sponsored by them. So it's just like one of the things where you got to communicate with your team. You got to communicate with your girls on your bus because so you don't be in situations like this. <laughs> Shut up, Chris. <laughs> Yeah, I see we make the sexiest skier for all the spend on the hard. I'm dying. Not Sana is down with it. But that's not going to be on the bus Huh? What? Well, same. I'm here. I mean, I get it. I get it, Nora. Stand for stand for not to fall for anything. So I kind of like get it. You have to stand ground on what you believe in. And if she believes in not necessarily falling into those societal norms of showing off your body image for capital reasons. Um, I, I wholeheartedly stand behind her. I do. Not Eva and Sana. What about Chris? <laughs> well, you didn't say her name. I think it kind of is, though, because Nora's that girl, and if she says no, then the group's going to say no. I'm so excited to get this side and get to know her more and what her life at home is like. I just must be still pasta man. I mean, so it's no reason to ask if they ate it. It's already ate. It's already gone. I just want to get them to buy some more. <laughs> oh my God! The brother was they giving for I don't know if the brother was giving or getting. Dying. The brother that's giving his freak on. I'm here for it. I'm also really happy that they are showcasing more of, you know, of, you know, not just straight. Because I, I think last year they, they hinted at, like, um, homosexuality when it came to, um, when it came to Isaac. But now we're getting actual homosexuality activities when it comes to her brother and his flavor of the evening. 
Um, so I'm kind of excited to see where this kind of goes and what more we explore within this show. Is that Connor? Why? Why would you ever pick that up, Nora? Girl, that is unsanitary. <laughs> Hello. Wait, I'm so confused. Eva and Jonas is back together? Uh, 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 uh. Wait a minute, hold up! Please. Or are they friends? Because she made it clear like it's just Netflix. <laughs> oh, wait, so they're not her family? You have to come home to me and show me that. Oh, wait, so they are friends? I don't know, but I don't know if she's like that. Yeah, but they come out to share it. So they're like really friends. So funny. I think that it's like, it's healthy the way they end their relationship and they was able to fall back on the friendship that they had beforehand. And they're able to do this because I do this with my ex as well. Well, the, the last serious one I did have. Um, I do this with him too. Like we're actually like really good friends. Like we, we kiki about um, guys that they're like he's dating and X, Y, and Z or guys that he's maybe interested in. Maybe not so much on my end because whatever, whatever. But... <laughs> Like, it's always like a, a cute little dialogue with there because we were friends beforehand, right? So, yeah, I think this is healthy and cool. Den där fyder rumpe. Ja, natto. Nora is legit, like, she's flabbergasted. Hur har funkat det för det? Hallå, vi är vänner. Right, girl, we're just friends. Okej. Hallå, du kan inte visa det till oss. Jo, får se. Då ska jag inte köta. Eva, really? So I get, I get what Nora's coming from because Nora's like, you can't showcase nobody's personal, private parts, you know, with other people because they wouldn't want to be in that position. Treat people how you want to be treated. Nora's disgusted by this whole entire interaction. Nora's like, this is, this is a whole lot. Also, 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 drink we wine. Wine. That's why it's really important for me. Vilde is not really feeling it. I just know she goes for this one skill for folk or she not. Man can have one max and then. I got that too. Like when I tell people like I'm friends with my ex, like my friend, my ex, like one of my best friends. I get that too. And I don't know. I think people just they're so quick to think that like when you end it with an ex that you guys shouldn't talk because you know ex ones y'all had that and it was in the past. No, because I followed the man to where it's like. I build a friendship with someone and then I romantically, and it, it romantically evolves, right? So when the romance isn't there, you have your friendship to fall back on. I always have that ideologically, ideology, same way like with marriage, right? Because when your marriage is not always going to be filled with roses and sunshine, sunshines, right? So when the romance isn't there in your marriage, you need to fall back on your friendship. So that's the, the mindset I go into with every partner that I do have um, because... Who has time for a hostile environment? You know, we're both adults. We're both consensual adults. And we can legit, like, con con like converse with each other and tell each other how we feel and move past it and, you know, grow and evolve. <laughs> Me too, personally, Sana. I think he is uh, a fuckboy, too. <laughs> but I legit want to, like... I want to know how this is going to smooth over, right? Because Vilda and... Nora are like friends. They were in the same group, friend group. And although Nora is also making it very apparent here that she doesn't necessarily care about the bus anymore and that she technically only got into it because of Nora and Sana, um, it seems like she's drawing a wedge between her and Vilda's relationship, which I kind of can see um, because I think it's going to help her be able to move forward with William because I think she honestly does like William. So it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see that kind of unfold that that triangle there because Vilda's is gonna feel this type of way then it may impact the group dynamic um so yeah I'm excited I'm excited that did eat him he's so cocky I like that you're sitting there looking at me sir calm down he just apologized for something that he should have well let's get on like some come back to the guys you were fine. See, and that's what it is. Hmm. She did it. Sis did it. I knew she set that up. I agree. Included me. She's not trying to date him, but I feel like she's going to give in. Due to the trailer, I know she's going to give in to him. Random, in all fall. I'm going to come back to Noah. Eva, 
Why would you ever spill the beans like that? Like she's setting my girl up. Because yeah, I was just saying, I wonder what this thing is gonna be like. Let's see, let's see. And Bill is like, what? Bella. Who said it was? You give yourself away. Sis, you're going to touch him. He's petty. He is so petty. Got my sister in a sticky situation. Yikes. I hate it for my good sis because I know it's gonna backfire. I know it's gonna backfire. Hena du lägger an på en väninna med. Du tror att du kommer ta tuta lite i gedan. Hena drit naiv. Right, she's good and so naive, but I hate that um Nora is stupid to this level. Yeah, I don't interested in that. So I need that you for him to glimpse. So you can move in. That's what it seems like, my sister. You trying to move in on him. Sister, if that's what you want to do, sister, I get it. For 390, so tie on a little bit. 350, not no clear. Exactly, sir. Why are you trying to do too much? Yeah. <laughs> Is that Eva? She looks so different with her haircut like that. I kind of like it, though. <laughs> Sis is really thinking something is, like, up with her and William, and I want her to be released from the shackles of that man because... I mean, I, I, she's young, and at the same time, a lot of young people do fall into the trap as well. If he's showing me attention, then he must like me. If he does nice things to me or for me or misinterprets just somebody apologizing as a nice gesture, right? When oftentimes, it's just common courtesy, right? And they get stuck behind that day where they, they do too much, they think too much, they assume too much. So it's kind of like... Hey, the girl needs you to pipe down because the whole time he's trying to get with your friend, but you can't see that because you're so busy falling head over heels over him, who's giving you literally crumbs to work with. The best accent I've ever heard. It was like helt amazing. Chris, Chris is not impressed. It was dritchel. It was sat there and just. I just sat there, girl. He wasn't doing a good job if he went down and he never did that. Girl, he doesn't want you. You don't have anything to worry about. I promise you. That's something else, Miss Vida. She go pick for the life. Not for the life. Oh my God. I'm scared. I'm bored, man. But isn't Eva gonna pick up that he's gay? Hey. Miss D. Oh, not. What kind of handshake was that? Uh, that's my mother. Hi. That's not obvious at all. Hmm. From 19, 2014. <laughs> mm. Look at Chris. Chris is like, okay. Jonas, yeah. Jonas, 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 he was like, can he speak to her? I want him to talk to you. Oh, my God. I cannot. Hello, yeah. What's up? What did he say? He hadn't been back in that situation if he just had to hold it or hold it. Yikes. My good sister. My sister. You blame me on a date that you had to hold it. She looks so guilty in the face. Um, it's not gonna lie. Poor Vilda. Poor Vilda. Poor Nora. Oh! <laughs> He's like, aren't you gay? Mm. This one has a little sweetness to it. So I'm gagging. I'm gagging because that was the first episode of season two. And... I am gagging because Nora has legit like put herself in a predicament where it's a, it's a rock and a hard place. She's stuck between a rock and a hard place because she tried to do something good for Nora. I mean, not Nora. She tried to do something good for Vilda, which got um, William to apologize to her to help her self-image um, and self insecurities um, issues. And it ended up backfiring on her. So now she has to put up this front and I'm like I just want her to be honest with them but their children 
can't expect much um, out of them because, you know, they're still growing and learning. But if she would just be honest with her friends, I think that it'll go over a little bit smoother. But I can just only, I can only, like, I can only assume that this, as the season grows, it's just going to be mayhem because... The whole triangle between William, Vilda, and Nora. Like, it's just going to be too much. But I thoroughly enjoyed this episode, guys. And I really can't wait till we get to the second one. And, um, you guys, uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please like it, like it, like it, like it. And also subscribe to my channel because it is free. It does not cost a dime, penny, nickel, or any of those little jingle, jingle quarters or whatever. Like, you know... <laughs> Also, comment in the comment section down below what movies or TV shows you'd like for me to make commentary or reactions to on next. And, you know, peace, love, and positivity to everybody on the side of my voice. Because, you know, I love you guys. Thank you for building this community here. If this video is out and we aren't at um, 1,000 already, we're almost there. We're on like 40 subscribers away from 1,000. So I want to thank each and every one of you for joining this family here. And it's been a cool eight months of coming back to YouTube and starting this channel back up. Just thank you guys. Thank you guys for all of your kind words, your kind gestures, and just your um, your outpouring of love towards me. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And once again, everybody on the sound of my voice, I send you guys a ton load of positivity. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time, guys. Bye.